presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Let's go to Carlos in California. Hey, Carlos, what's going on? I yes. want to thank you guys for all that you do for EFNN. I've been a tiger for over 10 years. I actually started <laughs> listening to you before I even speak a, a word of English. Oh, really? And the, yeah, and the, and the thing that captivated me was when you make like, Rah! I was like, wow, what, what is that? <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, and, and where I are you from? I'm serious. I'm from the south, uh, actually the, the northwest part of Mexico. I love right it. Right next to Guayabitos. Okay. It, it's the uh, close to Puerto Vallarta. Okay, oh, cool. So, yes, and uh, I listen from there. And then when I arrived here, I married my wife. And then I keep listening to your radio station. That's a and beautiful it, thing, It's such man. a great thing. Now, your Money Masters, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you out there growling and prowling with us. We get the dollar right now up 10. Nasdaq's up 11. S&Ps are up 2. Gold's up by 440. Silver's up 61 cents. Silver got some little action underneath it. It did. It does, uh, yeah. Platinum up 11 bucks at uh, 1717. Uh, light sweet crude's off uh, 32 cents. Uh, Cop is up two and a half pennies. Um, bonds are up seven ticks, and uh, King Dollar is up seventeen ticks. Now can't, can't keep the king down, baby. Well, let me tell you something, right? We're gonna go over to bonds first, yeah. Because let yeah, me show you that something. That was pretty interesting yesterday's action. Oh, wasn't it? baby, let me tell you something, folks. Okay, this bond market is talking, walking, and squawking. And what it's talking, walking, and squawking all about is that it wants to get up and over... The 160 that, range, yeah, huh? It, it, well, the, is... the 146, 147's game, and if it does anything like it did yesterday, yeah, we did 500,000 contracts yesterday, and today you're already at 244,000 contracts. Yes. Now, how, how do you read that with the, with the flat market? I mean, obviously, we had some fear early in the morning, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. But, and uh, they piled you know, in it. And, yeah. And they're piling in it this it morning. It didn't pile out. No. It didn't pile no, out. No, no. So, Listen, or, we got to 144.03 yesterday. You did 540,000 contracts. Yeah. We are at 144.05 right now, and you're already at 245,000 contracts, and it's 10 o'clock Eastern time. Yeah. That baby. What was the it, last time we did 544,000 contracts? I mean, that's, uh, a, that's, that's a big, big We did number. 545 at the highs of uh, 146. We did, okay. 146.15 okay. uh, on September 29th. That's who we're banging. And that's why it's so important. Because if you bang at the highs like that, you're gone. With, with, with volume. You're yeah, gone. That's right. Yeah. You get, and you got the wide price spread. Uh, so it's going to be wild. And, you know, that in itself, folks, would have some divergence. Like, watch this. This is pretty amazing. If you happen to be watching Tiger TV, folks, if I just bring this up and someone, a monster, just st stepped right in this market. Yeah. And I mean stepped in it, okay? You're talking about 11,200 contracts in the last 10 minutes. Yeah. You know? That's, that's no, that's, no, you know what? Actually, that's 100. Hold it. 11,000. Yeah, 11,000. 11,000. And that 10-minute bar, by the way, is still going on. You know, yeah. so the next one will start. But that that's a big number. And, you know, that's basically saying that, hey, it, it's it's going in there, man. Yeah. And it sounds bizarre, but... Safe place to park money, huh? Well, they just know... That they can get it back. That they get it back. Right. That, that's, and, that's really what I meant. Yeah, that, exactly. You know, and, you know, it, it could be worth less, but the bottom line is they're going to get it back. Yeah. You know? Uh, if we go over to gold, we look at gold right now, what you're going to see is that gold basically is not going to handle this high, yeah. you know? Uh, and the high that uh, you're dealing with, you get the high out there from the 23rd, you know, we got up to 1784, you know, bottom line. Um, when you, well, you know... I still think it wants to get into 1804, at least test that. Well, uh, that's not far away. Right, know. exactly. There's no, there's no, there's right, there's right, no, there's no just, doubt about just it. Just got to reach out. You know, the correlation, however, though, is that if this bond keeps going, the, the gold's not going to go. Yeah. Okay. You know, because, okay. you know, that means the rates get crushed even more. Um, you know, well, actually, no, I, I see. No, that, it could go. It could go. That, w that wouldn't be a fundamental correlation. It, it, that, that could go. Yeah. Uh, King Dollar. Let's go over and take a look at King Dollar. I don't think it, it, it's got inside. Oh, this, this is nice looking now. Now it's well, pretty. Yeah. Now I'm you got something it. pretty. 
And, and what you have here, folks, is that you got down to 7831 today. We did 11,000 contracts. You're coming into 34,000 contracts, and you're still inside the larger range. So you get a rejection of lows. And, and all you're really doing is testing the uh, you're testing the support of that last bullish engulfing candle. That's which right. Which was you know, and it keeps testing it, and it keeps rejecting it. Yes. Yeah, it closed just slightly under it on Friday. Yes. But, then, yeah, but yesterday, it tested, oh. tested it, rejected it. This Friday morning. was Friday was dangerous. <laughs> Wasn't it? King Dollar could have lost his crown on Friday. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, he, but we were bringing it back from the West Coast. Totally, totally, you man. Know. He could have lost it. And it was you see, it was actually going into the November first uh, day of strength, folks. But, right. Exactly. But the bottom line is now. that he, he could have lost it. Yeah. He could have lost it. No doubt about it. You yeah. know. So now, uh, uh, this is what I was. I showed. Uh, I showed this to uh, listeners this morning during the nine o'clock show. I'm going to switch over here to the actual uh, Dow. Whoop! No, that was the futures. We're seeing. Here we go. Pulling up here. So when I take a look at yesterday's action on the uh, Dow, this yes. is kind of because you know I'm always looking for clues. We're right. always looking. Well, yeah, right. Especially hey, in this type of market, we're all we're really looking for clues, right? Right. right. I'm going to get the shovels out. I'm digging. You know, where's the treasure out there? Right. And so what I came across last night, and I said, "Where's Rick? How come Rick isn't calling?" Okay. Double dojis. Oh, look at double them. double nice. Josie. Double, yeah. You know, forget about today's action because right. we're, we're still underway. But right. double dojis. Now, why was that so important? Well, because what I did was I went back and I've got a way to uh, to uh, scan, you know, the uh, Dow, if okay. you will, and uh, scan it to see where else could I find double dojis. And so this is pretty interesting. Go back and take a, go back and take a look at May second. And see what it is that you see out there, and you will see. When we come back to May second, folks. You will see double oh, dojis right up there wow. at the top. Ooh, that's you know? pretty. Yeah, it is. It is. And actually, if you go back in the the eighty seven time frame, I can't pull it up here on this chart. Nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm like, I told folks. So I said, look, I'm not prognosticating anything, but you have to be aware. You know, of the charts, of the yeah. chart patterns, right. and only the fact that they repeat. Right. Uh, not that this area can't get uh, blown away, but when right. you've had such weak volume, the distribution that's going on, right. the things that you see, you know, you've got to be aware of these. In my opinion, you have to be aware of well, these things. Well, no, you do. Well, let me, let me tell you, you know what gets interesting here, too? And now, th this happened when I had Ken Hoover on yesterday from IBD. Okay. And... What he was saying, and, and this is, I don't, I, I, at, the, at the point of saying it, it was kind of interesting because when I brought it up, you know, he was saying, well, you, you, know, you can get a pullback. Some of these might come back to the 50 day. Yeah. Right? But, folks, if, if, if you deal with the 50 day and you, you know, you, you get your head wrapped around that, <laughs> right. This is it's pretty still, sick. That's right. that's right. When you bring up the Nasdaq, we're at twenty nine seventy five. Well, the fifty day folks is at twenty six hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If right. you do this, right. Right. that's right. how far right. you know we've been extended with nothing. You know, meaning no juice, no yeah. volume. Yeah. You know, so we'll see where this uh, does shake out. Uh, Priceline, you know, today you talk about upside of forty four bucks right now. Isn't that a wild? Yeah. I mean that they they they, they and they, William Shatner all he was saying beam me up beam me up beam baby me up Scotty uh -huh. and Scotty definitely beamed him up there's oh no two goodness. ways about that yeah yeah there's well no. I, they they crushed their earnings per share yeah they did looked like it was more than double or something they did no, I mean they absolutely did so yeah. so so I wonder well, I didn't take a look so you know are they taking market share away from Expedia. Yeah, you know, I mean, who's, who's bit, you know? So now, e, what's that, that tip, ticker symbol? Is EXP, EXP, e or E or something like that? E I have to, let me see here. Express e trips. X P E. Uh, no, that's like Expedia. E EXPE, e, I think, okay. is Expedia. Just kind of curious how, yeah, they, no, how no, they're no, actually trading no. because you know they're they're, yeah, they're, they're not, not too either. bad. No, no, they're, they're everybody's not traveling. Either. That's why that's why we that's were so tight on those airplanes. Totally. Well, you know what? It has happened. Is that the uh, the travel agency of the nineties okay. and before are okay. gone. Right. You okay, know? that's right. And okay. now everything is you know electronic and they're getting a piece out of it electronically, so the servers are making money yeah. for them. And you know, because you're talking a percentage of high numbers, yes. That's real that's for real sure, money. For sure. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, knowing what business you're in. Yes. Uh, you know, Big how time. would you like to have been a travel agent and not really paying too much attention to technology? That's right. You're done. I mean, holy you're done. cow. Well, you know what was cool is that most of them, it's surprising, actually, that a couple of the, it's surprising, actually, that American Express didn't really, you know, embrace the technology. The, the reason being is this. 
is that the travel business itself yeah. were the first ones that had the biggest computers. Yes. When we, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Sabra we, systems or whatever they are, Sabre, 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 whatever they When we first started, yeah, right, yeah. Um, I had a room, and inside uh, the, the glass room yeah. with the data generals and the big round reels. Yeah, okay? for sure. Yeah. And you had, to close, you had to close the room, folks, okay, to, to sit inside it. Yeah, okay? absolutely. With one computer. That's right. Okay, but yeah, now it had it was, to be clean air going through it, there. It was a monster. Totally. Okay. You know? uh, but that's pretty amazing, okay? Yeah, yeah. So then, you know, of course, you'd have all these other computers off them. And I remember I had uh, all the Sabres and I had all these Uniteds and they were interfaced and all that. So it's interesting that the amount of bread that was, you know, paid there. Oh, yeah. Uh, American Express at that point, now I'm going back to 1980, was one of the biggest people in the business. You yeah. had uh, Thomas Cook. Right, Thomas right, Cook was right. on the of business, okay? Yeah. Uh, Merrick, but anyway, you know, it, it wasn't them. It was new technology that came on and took them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, with just a simple, no, this is how you do it. You go here, click, 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 bang. Of course, of course we have, we have, we, we had the experience this uh, past week where we had the Continental United, you know, their sister, oh. they, you know, so, so we do talk about the, the mere fact of automation, the benefits, if you will. Right. Sometimes what always amazes me, you know, when you have these companies that are combining, That's if you will, that the, uh, you know, that it has not been seamless when it comes to, no. you know, the data integration. And in, in United and Continental, let me tell you, folks, it's, it's far from seamless. That's right. And, and what happened, folks, we had a, a, a United and Continental is a double check-in. Now, you yeah. stay at the counter. Yeah. But what ends up happening is that... If you if you look like you have a seamless ticket, but the fact of the matter is you don't, and it's a double ticket. Uh, they wanted to send us down to the different uh, uh, box, if you will. The different, oh, that's uh, right. Counter, that's right. I forgot, like, no, oh, I forgot about that. No, I forgot about that. That's right. Really? That's right. Oh, no, no. God. That was pretty wild. That is. No, it's crazy, man. No yeah. doubt. Let's go take a look at some of the volume, high volume stocks we have. Uh, in fact, we don't have high volume, but yeah. uh, we get BAC is up uh, three cents. You got the Cinecorp. Uh, yeah. It must be Priceline. It's moving that. That's up seven bucks. That's up ten percent. Apple's up uh, four ninety three. Now that's at highs. Apollo Group uh, is they're down right. a five eighty one. So that's the. They're they're they're. they're uh... Is that they the, gap down pretty big. Yeah, this is uh, these guys should be out of business. Man, well, these guys. Are, let me tell you. Yeah, if you want to see, okay, so look at look at Apollo Group, folks. You want to take a look at Apollo Group. You want to see an extension with no volume. You want to see volume. Look at volume off the you top. Want volume that's off that's the top. What I was showing folks this morning. Oh, amazing! So that they could, amazing, and and they gave they gave folks at least three weeks to get you, out of dodge. You right? Al, you always have right? a shot. Yeah. You, uh, if I've found anything, folks, in the market. Most of the time, you know, it seems that you got two or three chances to get out. Yeah. Well, I you mean, know, they really do. I mean, it, it almost looks like they probably made a just, six just, one eight retracement it, it, on the way back to, you, you to got, give you a time folks, to get out you, of you there. you got to see this. you got to absolutely right? see this. Now, when you're looking at Apollo, what, what you have is this. The, it expanded from $40 all the way up to 58 At yeah. $58, it had 1.2 million no, shares. No. Nothing. And then, and then when it came off. Fell out of bed. Yeah. 13, 14. With 12 million. million. Yeah. That's up at, of course, 53, and now you're at 45. Yeah. Amazing. You stay right there, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien, we're coming right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year-end as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. 
Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investment Newsletters and get Ken Shree's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you seek to maximize your returns. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You were born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? I'm Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I've watched almost a month now, and it's just wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Uh, let's go see what's going on with that gold market. Gold's got a little spike out here. Uh, so let's see. Uh, she's up 970 right now. She's at 1784. Yeah, she's going to go after that. Uh, we're at eight. That's that first swing. So yeah. your eighteen oh four is going to yeah. be in game here. Yeah. And this afternoon, folks, on my show, uh, we'll, we'll have. I just did a interview with uh, Nick Holland. Nick is the CEO cool. of uh, Goldfields. Cool. So we'll uh, play that this afternoon for you. There's a big mining conference going on right now, the BMO mining conference over in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So they're out there growling a problem. We'll have those uh, up. Uh, you know, and it's, it's pretty amazing um, uh, what he's done with Goldfields, I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, this is, the diversification is absolutely huge uh, because coming out of South Africa, uh, they had uh, basically 67% of their mines pushing you know, pushing dirt out of the ground. Now it's only, uh, he's down to 47% now. Oh, wow. You know. uh, so, uh, I have no idea who that is. Rick Doji. Oh, I Doji, man. I, I love it. Uh, oh, my God. I had to teach him. Hey, what's going on? Mining conference in Fort Lauderdale. Every year they have it. It's the there. biggest one in the world, yeah. Rick. Is that because there's big money in Florida? Is that right? Why? Or That's because what? I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have them in Vancouver quite frequently too, eh? Yeah, you do, but they're not in a hotel like this. You should see this hotel. The diplomat is, is insane. No, I'm, I'm sure. Listen, I, I know you have the biggest conferences in the world up there. So, I oh, mean, do we? I don't know if it's the biggest, but I know. I know. I believe you do. Uh, you know, I, I I believe it is. Yeah. Well, just uh, close to where I am, they're putting in. I don't know the numbers. Uh, Three hundred, five hundred, eight hundred, maybe billion uh, power project uh, into the north. Yes. And I mentioned to you, Seabridge Gold, uh, they got, you know, it's just a matter of 
time before they build a mine. Nova Gold, Copper Fox, uh, like there's huge proven reserves up here. So, you know, there's there's a lot of things happening right now. So, well, you know, you bring up a good point. Now, this is where it's going to get. You know, you talk about supply and demand. Uh, when I was, I just did the uh, interview with uh, Bob Archer from uh, Great Panther Silva. And he was explaining that down in Mexico right now, there are 325 Canadian mining companies yeah. doing business there. Wow. Now, just to give you an idea. Wow. Wow. The first time that I interviewed... That's intense. Well, listen to this. Why do you hear this number? The first time I interviewed Bob Archer, uh, this goes back maybe seven or eight years. Or maybe even six or seven years. I mean, there was only like 100 yeah. companies down there. Yeah. Now, when I interviewed... Hey, uh, $35, $40 silver, you it, know, brings exactly. everybody out of the... It, you know. it does. When I was interviewing Nick Holland today from uh, Goldfields, what he said is happening even in South Africa now, is that there's a middle tier um, that is happening uh, in South Africa yeah. because of uh, two different aspects. The, the first aspect was they, they thought that less gold is going to be coming out of the ground, and I that's see. not okay. happening. Okay, right. And the rand, of course, is getting weaker. So that is basically putting more juice inside the market. You know, so. Yeah. Hey, um, I'd like to look at GE a minute here. Um, I don't really have too many dojis to look at. but GE well, just brings go to, off, just brings go to the off. Dow. Just go bring, to the Dow. Yeah. Go to the Dow. You got two of them from, you know, yesterday and Friday. Yeah. That's well, all you, know, you need. You just... I think I think the euro can go to 136. Yeah, the euro can I, absolutely. The euro, the, the is euro, that what you're looking for? The euro is the wild card out here. Oh, I think that the uh, let me pull it back up here. The uh, euro actually, I think, can get up to uh, yeah one 138. In my opinion. What was that rating? Yeah. You guys are on crack. No, I know we are. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just I reading the charts. Yeah, I think it's 136 or 136.50. And well, think... that 136.50 is the first stop. The reason why I say 138 is a game is because if you take a look at the retracement uh, off of the uh, lows, you know, going back in, Rick, if you're going back to the uh, uh, January 13th time frame up to the high that it put in on February 9th, it only backed off about uh, 0.5, but where it closed was at the 0.382, just above it. And when I take a look at, uh, you know, I really pay attention to that C to D leg. And right now the euro is inside left on that C to D leg. And that's just simply telling you, for whatever reason, there's strength in there. I can't figure out why. Well, but, you put, know, put, I just... put, uh, put the euro on a, on a monthly, and uh, you're, go you're going to see a doji lined up there that, that could accommodate your thoughts. Okay, okay. Yeah. But uh, but you know these dojis they don't always work. But no, they, no, they work a lot. They they do, and that's why when I came across the uh, two on the uh, Dow last night, and then I started going back, and and I happened to just you know because May second was sitting on my screen as well. Yes, and I looked at that, and I said, well, that's interesting. Where's Rick? I need Rick to tell me what's going on. But there. have you noticed though, even though the euros made some nice moves the last little while, we really haven't moved up much. No, we have. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I was dead just meat. Pick. You stay right dead there. Dead meat. I love it. You're a dead meat. This is Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien. We got our Rick from British Columbia. You stay right there, folks. We want to hear from you. We'll come right back. Dow's up eight. Nasdaq's up fourteen. S and P's are up two. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under Newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now.
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney LLC, member SIPC. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. We have the uh, Dow up 22, NASDAQ up 18, S&Ps are up 3.5. And, a half. and uh, don't forget, folks, uh, we have uh, tonight. Is it tonight? The tomorrow, 20, night. Uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. The 29th. Leap year. Yeah. Leap year. Uh, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing a webinar, folks, uh, that is free. You just come over to TFNN. Uh, you'll be out there growling and prowling with uh, Basil. And uh, what we did do, uh, we put up last night, is that we have the Tiger Dollar promotion. Uh, the way the Tiger Dollar promotion works, folks, is that you have from now until March 11th to get from uh, a 20% to 30% bonus. And so the bottom line is that you want the quickest way to make 20 to 30% on your money is That's to right. go over and get Tiger Dollars. That's right. Now, the way the Tiger Dollars work, folks, is that they're good for all subscriptions and all services at TFNN. Um, as a bonus, uh, if you come and buy Tiger Dollars, I'm going to be doing a Master Trader series online, live, when the markets are opened um, in, in March. And that is absolutely free. So on the 29th. Uh, uh, on so the I'm 29th. doing it March 29th. That's going to go... Uh, from 9.30 a.m. until 4 p.m., we're going to take a break from 12.15 to 1.15. Uh, but that comes along, so that's a bonus. Uh, buying the Tiger Dolls, you get that uh, not only live, then it gets uh, on your page and archived for 30 days. Um, Oh, we're going, hey, listen, we, we got a lot of things happening. We do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you happen to be in Boston... We get the Go Long America Tour is going to be in Boston this Saturday yeah. from uh, 9 o'clock to 12 yeah. at the Marriott Burlington. And then on the 6th, 
Match six, we're yeah. going to be at the Tampa Hyatt. Tuesday night, yep. Tuesday night from 6.30 to 9.30. Both of those workshops, folks, are free. You can sign up on the front page of TFNN.com. Let's go to Chris in Colorado. Hey, Chris, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Hey, Steve. How you doing, man? Good, good. Hey, got another gold question for you. Yeah. Uh, yesterday uh, on the show, you were uh, speculating that uh, maybe the big gold producers were selling their uh, gold forward or hedging again. Something we haven't talked about in a while, but uh, is that something that you're seeing possibly uh, in the action of the stocks? Well, it's not in the action of the stocks. Let me explain what, what it is. That when you actually, when we, when we take a look at the XAU, now what happens, folks, is this. The XAU is the Philadelphia Gold and Silver Index. And the equities that are in the XAU, okay, bottom line, can sell forward. Okay? Now, the XAU, the way the XAU is set up, is actually much stronger than the Gold Bugs Index. The Gold Bugs Index turned around, which they cannot, well, what happens with the Gold Bugs Index is this. And the Gold Bugs Index, okay, they can sell forward anything less than one and a half years production. That's how that's what the, the rule is, okay? But what I'm what I'm seeing is that what you have is that the last time down the HUI took out the lows with you know some juice. You know, it, it wasn't so that's telling me that why would the HUI be weaker than the XAU. Mm -hmm, so every mm -hmm. time I see that, I'm always cognizant of the fact that, okay, our company's selling forward once again. You know, so w what, what happens is that we wouldn't find that out until the next filing. And the next filing, January, February, March, you won't get until April, until May 14th. Uh, okay. That's how that works. All right. I, I think I understand that. Um, do you see if they are selling forward that it uh, near term would have a dampening effect on the price levels in gold, but maybe long term would be an accelerant? I, if I had a gold company right now, I'd be selling forward. I, I don't see no reason not to. I mean, I, at, I, these, I, at these levels, I would yeah. definitely be selling forward. And it, 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 what I would do is this: you get your cost. You know, you got to you, you get a built-in profit. Big time. You know, who, what business doesn't want to have big you know, time built-in profits big time. receivables? You big know? time. You know, they, they, the way these companies, you know, got it got it wrong in a huge way. They're selling forward when gold was, you know, three hundred, four hundred dollars. You know, I, I don't. If your cost structure is, if you're getting it out at a thousand bucks right now, and you know you can get, you know even selling forward, selling forward they could get eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars, and yeah. gold's only at seventeen eighty four. That to me is like, okay, hold it, you don't have to sell it all, but you built in. You got eighty, eighty percent margin, net margin. Yeah, and a thousand bucks is your total cost. And and out of the ground, you right? Got it. And you it, know, so who doesn't want that business? And there's more out there. Right. That's and, right, and so, that's right. so here, I'll give you my business plan, because right? mm -hmm. I've thought of this many times, right, how I would do this. And this is what I would do. And this would be one monster trade. The trade would be that as you're selling forward, this would only work, folks, okay? Whoever does this first is going to score big time, okay? So all you gold companies out there listening, here's the trade. And this is what it is. No, for sure. The trade is you sell forward, number one, then you sell options, Number two, so you sell forward twice, right? But simultaneously, as you're doing that, right, what you want to do is that you know in your pocket, in the left, so that's in your right hand. Yeah. On your yeah, yeah, left-hand yeah. pocket, what yeah. you're doing is this. You have another exploration company or small producer that you know has more gold that's coming up. Yeah. That's less valued, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. As you're selling, you're buying all of that simultaneously. As soon as you have your hands on it, you know you sell more. And because what happens, whoever moves first in that deal, yeah, right, yeah, big deal. Because you can get more value out of out of out of this. It, it's an it's a no brainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 what you've just done is that you're first off, no one knows that you're selling forward. Second, you're buying supply. That's right. So all, you wouldn't even have to bother with your own. Big, you know, mother load. Yeah. He'd buy the supply, you sell it forward and say, see you later, see you, don't want to be a huge amounts of money. 
And what ends up happening, he who has the cash always wins. And what, that company will basically have more cash than anyone. And that's why Barrick Gold has always been the biggest in the world, because Barrick is the one that was the first mover last time. Huge. I like the business strategy. No, I, how, about, I, how about you, Chris? You like it? Hey, sign me up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You bet. Okay, man. Yeah. Have, have a great one. Have a safe one. You know, it's 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 just that's just a big trade. Yeah, no, it is. You know, it is. And and it, and I think one of the keys to that is though that as you're selling, you're buying that production. Yeah. And you're buying. See, you're buying the production. So uh, an exploration company, folks, is like a biotech. So what you want to do is that the exploration that you'd be buying or production, it would be pre-production that maybe they're a year and a half off, but they have the licenses. Right, you, you, right, you'd want right. to bring the risk down as much as you could. You know, they're, they're in, a, in a country that is mining friendly. They have the licenses. Now they've got to build the mill. They've got to do the rest of it, and bang, you got action. Man. Yeah. I mean, because the amount of bread is insane. And, and all that comes down to is that, yeah, you are absolutely giving up the right to make more money, but you are well, you taking... Well, you got 80% profit. You're taking, the, I mean, you're, taking a, the risk, a, you're taking the risk out of the equation. Yeah. Wouldn't you, love to take the, wouldn't you love to take the risk out of the equation? You can do it, you can do it as long as you want. I, I mean, yeah. I just see that as a... As a I, if you can take risk out of an equation and put money in your pocket, I, I don't see a downside to that. Your downside is you won't make as much money. Your upside on pullbacks is that you can take over more companies. I, well, yeah, and your stock, your stock in essence, in theory, shouldn't be hammered as much. No, it, it won't right? be. That, because that, your guidance, you're able to, you're that, going to be able to maintain your guidance it, there. So, you know, your risk is obviously, you know, gold going to the moon. But, but as you're pointing out, wait a minute here, you're already buying supply. You already have additional supply. And it won't. And you keep, you can keep rolling that forward. And it doesn't matter deal. as long as you have the production. Right. That you're, to deliver. that you're delivering. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But, you know that that's 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 one of the essence too. If you have the production, you're going to deliver. You know, that's not a bad deal. Yeah. You know, so that's going to and and in the aspect as we started there, folks, what where I picked that up I mean, it, it, is that the the gold bugs index is weaker than the XAU right now, and so it, it, the real question that I have me have in my mind is someone inside the XAU basically pushing something out we don't know yet right you know right and they haven't yet you know bottom line is that um you know it, it looked that these companies had closed uh their hedges and it looked like they had closed these hedges at dramatically higher prices mm -hmm. uh but the fact of the matter is that you know like newmont newmont took a 5.4 billion dollar hit well newmont is still trading at the same price that it took the hit at but thank God it did close it. It will probably put them out of business because oh, they that's closed that's the hedge right. at about eleven hundred. Yeah, you know, so you know they did the right thing. But they opened that hedge, you know, three hundred, four hundred. You know, and I'm sure they're scared to death. I I don't think it's going to be the ones that that took those big hits. Right. You know. Right. I, right. You know, right. Right. <laughs> I mean, once you experience pain, still, you, you well, know, you're not necessarily jump those, back into those, it. Those, those guys are still licking their their yeah, wounds. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah. And they, we got the guy saying, uh, "Z, that they, Newmont never hedged. Uh, no, Newmont, Newmont hedged. Oh, they, they took that hit. We can pull that back. Um, they, 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 they hedged and they, they took a hit. And uh, Barrick also took a hit. Well, he said, well, incorrect. We'll find out. Maybe I am incorrect." We'll find out. Uh, no way, baby. <laughs> no, no, listen, it's, 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 it's possible. I'm going to find out right now. Yeah. Uh, good old Google. Newmont Hedge. That's uh, the, <laughs> Newmont Hedge. That's the new Newmont Hedge. Let's see what we got. Gold Hedge. Gold Hedge. I think they, who knows. Uh, Newmont eliminates gold hedges. Where That's is it? Right there. The yeah, there one. it That's is. The first one. They, they, they did it. Yep. Z, sorry, pal. I, I remember when I read that. Yep. You're not yeah. kidding. They, they, they committed. Okay, so Newmont. So here it is, folks. Yeah, Newmont. They, 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 okay. Newmont hedged. Uh, oh man, you talk about 1.8 million ounces at, at 381 to 392 dollars. Uh, uh, an ounce, yeah. They sold forward, and bottom line is that Newmont was the one. So, 
Got to love it. Look Dow, baby. Oh, Dow. <laughs> That's only up 33 points. That's not good. It's nothing. It's, I mean, you know, you know just, just dealing with yesterday still. Yeah, look at this. So it's going to be basically making that run again. Double and doji. Let's see. We got uh, volume wise. Oh, my God. <laughs> you get a hundred. You get a hundred and eighty-nine million folks uh, going forward, and the Nasdaq has five hundred million right now. Now Nasdaq's. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So let's watch it. Nasdaq's making a run, and the real question is going to be: Will it be able to get the uh, price going nice over these highs? You know, they don't have the volume, but bottom line is that. Uh, this price comes up a little bit more. So watch. The NDX 100, well, the Qs are at 64.56 right now. Yeah. And you're dealing with, uh, well, you're dealing with 63.86, really. The more that gets over it, the more that uh, it'll say, okay, let's see if we can make a leg up. And, of course, folks that look at breakouts will look at that and say, I want a piece of that. Yeah. No, we, you know, you've got the NDX is going to have to, it's going to have to break this uptrend. In order for the markets to pull back. Oh, yeah. You know? No, no, and, no, no doubt. You know, no doubt about it. Been, uh, just a tear. No, no doubt just about it. Just a tear. And inside the NDX, so oh, good old price line. You yeah. Know, price well, line it's up by 44 tech. bucks right now. Yeah. So uh, Google, Google's up 10 bucks. Yep. Uh, Apple's up uh, 7 bucks. Uh, the NDX is up. No, big time. And look at Google. Google's up 10 bucks. Google's up with. Uh, it's got some juice underneath it. You got a yeah. one million uh, shares. It still hasn't closed that gap, has it? No, it from, hasn't. The, the we're at six nineteen thirty six, and you're dealing with it. You could in the bottom of the the gap is six twenty one twenty three. You know, so it's going after it right now, no doubt. It's definitely going after it. Yeah, now they're being uh, no Google's not being sued. Who's uh... Well, I, I, you know, at any time, all these companies are being sued, they, they, right? They are. They are. Yeah, they keep the, attorneys the, going. The amount of uh, patent suits that are out yeah. there are absolutely incredible. Um, and it's all about uh, how they're doing business right now. You know, it's going to get interesting. Um, what I just realized, you know what's happening? Maybe this might be happening right across the market. Look at how uh, Microsoft is setting up. Microsoft is setting up with uh, three drives to the top. It's not the third one's not there yet. Right, right, but right. But it's, right, it's right, setting right, up pretty right. nice, actually. My, and don't be shot in Microsoft. Microsoft got the ju big juice underneath it. Absolutely. Big dollars underneath it. Well, even the uh, action from last week on the uh, 16th, uh, yes. which was what, uh, I don't recall what day it was, uh, uh, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. Had some, you know, had some decent volume in it. Oh, yeah. Took out 94 to, million shares. You know. And if you want to see something how you're supposed to be pushing higher, Microsoft's one of them. You can see, For sure. you know, you, you get back to uh, January, it's pushing the swing points with volume. You get back, it starts pushing the January swing points, takes those out with volume. Right. It, don't, it only really started dying down once it's got to $30, which makes sense because, you know, you, you started off from 24 bucks. And yeah, you, but you, it, you, you could argue it still even has some support at thirty-one fifty-five. Oh, you know, no, no, it does. That's away. So it, it absolutely right does. Now it absolutely trading. does. Yeah. Hey, the uh, the yen. Yeah. The yen. Yeah. You know, this is going to be pretty wild watching this shake out, right? I mean, the yen wants to get a lot weaker. It does. It absolutely does. Which is good for us. You can talk about go long America. Yeah. Actually, the yen getting weaker is you know good for us. Now, King dollar obviously is going to be stronger. But still good for good for the good for good for all of us consumers out there. No doubt. Steve Rhodes, Tom O'Brien, are you tigers and tigers? So you stay right there. We'll come right back, folks. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the technical corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll 
you'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Well, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you buy coins off us? Yeah, I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we weighed of that was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Fernstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250,000 thousand ounces per year at a cash cost of only four hundred and fifty dollars per ounce the hollister mine in nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only 527 dollars per ounce great basin gold is cash flow positive and trades on the toronto and new york stock exchanges under the symbol gbg Catch Kate Stalter on the Small Cap Roundup, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Eastern, up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien. Uh, we get the Dow right now up 13, NASDAQ up 18, S&P's up 2. And coming up next, folks, uh, 11 to 12, we're going to go to uh, beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. We have Kate Stalter with the Small Cap Roundup. Then we're going to Chicago uh, with, uh, well, uh, with uh, Victor. For the uh, option hour, that's going to be 12 to 1. Um, then we're going all the way to California. Yeah. Ken Tree, 3 to 4, it. and then back here for 4 to 6. I love it. So silver, we're talking when we move oh, yeah. out. Talking about silver has uh, taken off a little bit this morning. Trade down at $36.38. What's your, what's, your take, uh, what's your take behind this move? Yeah, right? sil silver is stronger than gold. You know, uh, what you have with silver here, you know, she had this... She had the juice actually when she took out the uh, swing points of thirty four forty one. Yeah, going back to a couple trading. You know, we did up ago. there with the seven hundred uh, seventy two thousand contracts. You know, so uh, she's running into thirty six forty. The next swing is thirty six sixty five. But you know, it's really like, coming in this downdraft though. Yeah, she is. Big time. No, no, no she's so kind of, it's uh, it's. Uh, no, she know. is, but it looks like it so gets up to thirty. There's a differential. I mean, it almost looks like yeah, it looks like she's going to get to thirty nine. 
right? I mean, that's, you know, let's, let me see how a couple of these are set up. Uh, one of the ones that had got smoked was PAAS. And that's because of political deal. Yeah, see, Matt. We were up near the bigger, biggest silver mine, weren't we? Uh, oh we yeah, in, uh, Lucky Friday. Yeah, and in Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, um, and you know, Heckler can't make it either. You know, that's 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 because both of that's those. A big downdraft. Yeah, well, both of those have to do with doing business in South America. Uh, Coeur d'Alene. I mean, uh, Heckler yeah. and Pan American Silver. That's what basically got those babies smoked. You know, so. Uh, you got to be able to get it out of the ground. You got to be able to get it, you know, to the mill and yeah. get the cash. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you got a great interview coming up on your show today. Which hour is that going to be? Uh, uh, you know, I, let's see. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be the five o'clock hour. Five, okay. Yeah. And what will happen, folks, is that the uh, I'm getting hold of Harmony right now. What we will have on um, our uh, site. Uh, many of the presentations that were at the BMO conference, and they're, 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 oh, really, that's cool. they're really good presentations. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Uh, a lot of information, you know, and they're basically timely because it just happened uh, yesterday, folks. That, that's, what, that's what it is. You know, on, uh, I can't remember which uh, sport in, sporting event I had on the background on Saturday, but they were, it was the first time I saw the commercials for the smart TVs. Uh, there might have been Samsung or what have you seen those commercials? No. Where, yeah, you actually talk to the TV, tell it to. Do you? Yeah. You go to you say go to Tiger TV. You say go to Tiger TV. I love it. And man. it was doing it. Yeah. I love so it. that's really now the uh, big push that was out there. It is. No, it was the very first time I saw it, and and could have been during the golf, uh, the uh, yeah. Accenture golf match. You know uh, that might have been on, but uh, you know I I, I, had, I I heard it in the background. Right. The commercial. And I watched it the second time, and I was like, "Oh, baby!" No, I, listen, know, that's, I, I, that's I, I have cool. it in my car. That, that close, and, and, that and close. It, it's cool. I mean, if you don't, when you're not doing anything in my car, I can talk to it, and it'll do yeah. anything. Yeah, you know. But it, well, it can't drive itself. But the, 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 when you do in your house, that is going to be a big difference. I think. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It just makes things easier. Yeah. You know, you're not touching the dial. You, you say, uh, "Go to Tiger TV, hook it up, growling a no, problem." I know. It's not really, like it. really, really cool. It's a wild one. Yeah. Let's, you know, uh, you stay right there, folks. And of course, don't forget, uh, if you do have any subscriptions at TFNN, you want any in the future, well, you can make 20 or 30% on your money right now by coming over and getting some Tiger dollars. And if you do that, folks, um, uh, on uh, March 29th, you will get, um, I'm doing a Master Trader Series for anyone that buys the Tiger dollars. That's going to be live from 9 o'clock till 4.15, to 4 o'clock, rather. And, of course, uh, it's going to be archived in the page. Steve Roach, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. Uh, Kate is coming right up. She'll be growling a problem with you. Have a great day, folks. See you in the morning.